dynamics are completely different to all of our competitors. But it's not just to make it look pretty, it's to make it go fast. To make a racing car go round corners faster, if you can use the hand of downforce to press it to the road, it means that the tyres have more contact patch pressure. You know, the harder you push the tyres down into the asphalt, the better they grip the track. It's the easiest and best way to put a massive amount of performance on a race car. This car has, if you can imagine, the ability to stick itself to the ceiling at 150 miles an hour. It could actually hold itself up by the downforce that it creates underneath the car. So the whole concept of the car starts with the aerodynamics. I mean, that is the major opportunity that we identified in the rules. The front engine, front wheel drive, front weight biased, front aero biased concept is all based around this massive opportunity where you can make a ton of front downforce very efficiently. The rear of the car is limited aerodynamically to be within a very tight box. There's not much opportunity to make a lot of downforce. The front of the car is very free, so what we've decided is to exploit that freedom by putting all the weight, as much weight as we can towards the front so that we can run as much of the aerodynamic downforce as we can at the front. We created a car with about a 65% aero distribution to the front and also weight distribution and tyre distribution. We use every point of the regulation we can use to get minimum drag and maximum downforce. As a driver, we really enjoy to go fast through the corners. The more downforce you get, the, the higher speed you get on the corners, but obviously you get more drag and less top speed on the straight. So it's a compromise no? between uh, speed on the top speed or speed on the, uh, through the corners. If you can achieve downforce without drag, every single kilo of downforce is quicker lap time. You can go, you can brake harder, you can accelerate faster, you can corner faster. It is a specific Le Mans car. It's a real racing car made for high-speed corners and uh, straights. The man race track is really challenging for this because you need very good top speed, but also a really good downforce and speed through the Porsche curves. One of the devices that we use to create downforce that has very little drag penalty is by creating two huge vacuum tubes that run from the very front of the car to the back of the car. Most of the competition vents the air from underneath the diffuser out behind the front wheels. We actually make an entire duct to the back of the car, so it's got a very free-flowing exit. And this takes the air that comes under the front of the car and directs it into the base pressure or the wake at the back of the car, so somewhat filling that low pressure region. So we get low drag, but we also get high downforce from that vacuum cleaner effect on the front of the car. We're hopeful that will result in the fastest car we know how to build. When you know you have downforce, you know that you can push that little bit extra in the corner and carry that bit more speed. The faster the driver goes, the more the car sticks to the track. It requires a completely different uh, driving technique and a lot more confidence. It actually, downforce goes up by the square of speed. So literally, if you double the speed of the car, you've got four times the downforce. So it comes in in bucket loads, and the faster the car goes, the faster it likes to go. It's really, really powerful.